It's never too late to take a quick glance at all the news that grabbed headlines in Southern India. This is Southern Circuit to help you with just that. I'm Pratibha Raman and here are the headlines. 195 crore rupees worth undisclosed assets including cash was found during IT raids on fisheries. After DK Shivakumar, now Udupi district in charge, Pramod Madhvaraj comes under the IT radar. Apart from being the minister, Pramod Madhvaraj is also one of the top fishing businessmen of southern India. Is Congress running into trouble just before the election? A week after cutting a cake with a weapon and posing for photos with a garland around his shoulders, gangster P. Binu surrendered to police today. He said that he wants to lead a reformed life and added that the birthday bash was planned by his brother without his own knowledge. The budget session will conclude on April 6th and if efforts put in for a special status to be accorded to Andhra Pradesh fails to yield results, YSRCP chief YS Jagan has said that his MPs will resign. Five people were killed in a fire following an explosion on an ONGC vessel under repair at the Cochin Shipyard Limited premises today. The deceased were believed to be contract workers. Three among the injured persons have been admitted to a private hospital in Kochi and condition of one of them who suffered 40% burns is stated to be critical. If Congress registers a win in Karnataka, it will be a victory not only for Rahul Gandhi and Siddharamaya but also for Kerala's K.C. Venugopal. He is the current party in charge of Karnataka. As all preparations for election are made under the supervision of K.C. Venugopal, the victory of Congress has a direct bearing on his elevation. So, it will not be a surprise if Venugopal is named as the next CM candidate for Kerala. That's our newsable pick of the day. Assembly election in May in Karnataka is not only important for the state but holds relevance in its neighbouring state Kerala too. The results of Karnataka election 2018 will surely change the political game in Kerala. Here is how the neighbouring state will get a new chief minister. Speculations are rife that currently Congress will emerge as the single largest party in the Karnataka Assembly elections. In case the party registers a win without any alliances, Sidramaya is sure to continue as the chief minister for the next term. Here is the breakdown. Congress win is not only crucial for Rahul Gandhi and Sidramaya, but also for KC Venugopal, who hails from Kerala. Currently, Venugopal is the Congress in charge of Karnataka, who is monitoring the election preparations of the party. Thus, Congress win will surely be a big boost to Venugopal too, and his name will be taken among the successful leaders of Kerala Congress. One need not be surprised if Venugopal is named as the chief ministerial candidate for the party when the election for Kerala is announced next. But this can be a reality only when Congress wins Karnataka. Thus, a rise in Venugopal's career is dependent on Sidharamaya's win in Karnataka. While DMK and other opposition parties in Tamil Nadu have moved the High Court against AIA DMK for unveiling the picture of J. Jayalalitha in the Assembly, former Indian National Congress leader Nagma has said that Jayalalitha is a leader who is loved and respected by all. But when she has been convicted, one needs to think before deciding on having her portrait in the Assembly. That is the place that is home to leaders who are looked up to. Mamela Yalar Pasa Irka, Apri Unil, Anna, and the Yadatla Anglut and the Yadatla because it is an assembly and because uh, people look up to their leaders. Angi Ang statue Irkunona, other Kunja Yos and Pani Path it, Aprada think Pano that Nyayama Irka Irka Dana and the mind in the mindset in the under decision in the. According to a recent study on the assets of chief ministers across India by Association for Democratic Reforms and National Election Watch, Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister Chandra Babu Naidu is the richest CM in the country with assets worth 177 crore rupees. Ironically, Naidu feels that Andhra Pradesh has been betrayed and claims that they were given a raw deal in the budget. And here's what's good, bad and ugly about this development. 
According to a recent study on the assets of chief ministers across India by Association for Democratic Reforms and National Election Watch, Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister Chandra Babu Naidu is the richest CM in the country with assets worth Rs 177 crore. But ironically, his state is in dire need of money, or so he claims. He has been holding BJP hostage over what he said were unfulfilled promises under the Andhra Pradesh Reorganization Act. He had submitted a 17-page memorandum to Prime Minister Narendra Modi before the Union Budget 2018. But all hell broke loose after the budget was announced. Naidu feels that Andhra has been betrayed and claims that they were given a raw deal in the budget. After TDP MPs protested against the centre in both upper and lower houses of the parliament, the centre released Rs 1,269 crore to Andhra Pradesh. Rs 417 crore is towards the Polavara multipurpose project, Rs 253 crore as basic grant to urban local bodies, Rs 196 crore for the Anganwadi services scheme and the supplementary nutrition programme and Rs 31 crore under the Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme programme. But the TDP government wants Rs 1,948 crore more from the centre. Now with ministers who have assets worth crores, it is very suspicious why the TDP has been asking for such huge amounts of money. Wonder where they'll use all this money? That brings us to the end of the show. Do like, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Thanks for watching Asian at Newsables Southern Circuit. Mm -hmm.